welcome to another activation exercises for your shoulders and your back. This is great to practice before any kind of workout or practice as a warm up or also on its own to get a bit more activation and opening and mobility in the range of your shoulders and spine. So the first exercise that we are going to do is just working some cat cows and then scapular isolation. So we come on all fours and we find a nice flat back here first of all yeah so you really want to try and find a neutral spine also we want to really try and pull the shoulder blades down so i always say push the ground away and pull your hands away from each other so like you want to lock and pull but obviously because we're on the mat and all that don't slide your hands but just imagine that you are pulling them away this will give the effect of spreading your shoulders and really engaging a little bit more into the strength of your shoulders so you can start with some cat cows keeping these shoulders nice and strong when you also pull into a cat stretch try and avoid rising the shoulders too close to the ears just try and keep pulling them down and press into that space between the shoulder blades okay so once you've done a few cats and cows to loosen a bit the spine you start going with your shoulder isolation so we try and bring the shoulder blades together and then we push them away from each other. As you can see, I'm trying to isolate my back. So this time, this is the difference. That's why you need to do cats and cows first, because you want to try and switch off your spine. Once you've done your cats and cows, lock that spine and just focus exclusively on the shoulder movement. So this might take a bit of time for you to get and adjust to, but as you keep practicing, you can see here, I'm really trying to not use my back and then I push everything into the shoulder blades. So try and really find that activation and that isolation. The second exercise that we do is the puppy activation. So keeping hips above the knees, we come at the front here. You can keep the hands flat, but press the floor down. Press it really, 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 really strong and turn your bicep towards the ceiling. Slide the shoulder blade away from the ears and gently press the chest up and down. And once you've done your repetitions, we go side to side. This will help really into your lateral, um, your lats activation. So your lats in the door side, warming up and activating and stretching as well. It's a very nice sort of active stretch. If you want to make it a little bit spicier, then you come on your fingertips, you repress the fingertips again, try and not sink into the shoulders, stay nice and active here. Yeah, so the neck is long and we press up and down, engage a bit through your core and side to side. Wonderful. Once you've done this exercise, the exercise number three is a thread the needle push up. So it's quite an active thread the needle, which means we actively open it to so twist. We twist when we hear we rotate that shoulder, we don't sink into it. And then as we twist under, we press up through here. So we're not quite letting go and stretching. We actively press, elbow comes down, and then we press out into that nice opening again. Beautiful. I really like that one because it activates all parts of your spine and take a nice opening in a twist tray and like keep those hips quite square as you practice the exercise. Remember when you do press up, you don't sink into it. Just try and keep that nice little press up. Reach as far as you can with your arm, that threads underneath and keep that shoulder nice and open as you pull into that twist and shoulder keeps staying away from the ear here yeah as we come down okay very nice and the last exercise is nice and simple we just spread our arms out we imagine that someone is pulling as you can see my armpits i'm kind of hollowing my armpits i've got my bicep facing up and what we're going to do is we're going to roll one shoulder forward and roll one shoulder back and then keep going to the other side and then keep going to the other side so we keep moving this way one back one forward one back one forward one back one forward ah.
Good. I wish you a happy practice. Try and have it with, um, in terms of set, you want to either choose a couple of exercises and do 10 to 15 reps of this exercise. If you are practicing just these exercises on their own, try and do them all four and 10 to 15 reps as well in your short practice. I hope that you enjoy.